Good morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. We've made some additions to our mod, to our portfolio, and if you'd like to learn what they are and how they've been faring the last uh, couple of months, please give me a call on 781-380-8888. Now, uh, the gold is trading right around 1800. Uh, we expect gold to trade up from here due to the fact that the world is collapsing. Bill Gross of PIMCO fame uh, said something that I'm going to come back to over the next uh, week or 10 days. Uh, but he started out with the comment that the world is now facing structural problems instead of cyclical problems. In other words, he hit the nail on the head from our perspective. What I mean by that is if you look at the U.S. stock market, you would think that things are basically okay and that we're in another kind of cyclical 90-day, six-month, one-year kind of situation. Everything's just going to be fine and dandy by the spring of 2012 or the fall of 2012 at the latest. This is wrong. You know, the world faces substantial problems, and those problems are not going to go away. Uh, Angela Merkel said a decade. The reality is that the, the European crisis and Will, uh, and in U.S. banks quite wisely have made structural reductions in their exposure to Europe, but still 35% of U.S. banks have more than 5% of their assets uh, in investments with European banks and the like. But th these situations that we discussed, the structural unemployment in the United States, the uh, reticent consumer in the United States, the Chinese contraction, Chinese political difficulties, uh, Chinese getting ready to flee, people continuing to buy gold. These are all signs that people are not optimistic about the world. And if you listen to policymakers and people of that ilk, you would think that everything was basically going to be hunky-dory. Well, it's not going to be. And that's why gold is going to continue to do well at its root. The other thing which we ask you to remember about gold is that gold is a reality-based market. It is a supply and demand market. Less gold is coming out, it's harder to get out of the ground, and there's more demand. So the price is going to go up, regardless of external factors. And of course, external factors are very important. But even if external factors weren't important, gold would still appreciate dramatically in price. Now, another thing that's come along with this kind of belief that things are all hunky-dory is that... Uh, uh, it's not the supply of credit that's holding back uh, the economy. It's demand for credit. This is completely absurd. Banks want to only lend money to AAA credits. If you've had any kinds of slowing of your business over the last two years, banks don't want to lend you money. This is the opposite of where banks were five or six years ago. Now, they may have gone too far in that direction. Now, they've gone too far in this direction. So part of the big lie that's going on is people are telling you, well, businesses are not applying for credit. The reason businesses are not applying for credit is that banks don't want to lend money to anybody who is not absolutely perfect AAA credit. And that's what's causing whatever hope we have of expansion to be extinguished. Because small and medium-sized businesses, remember we're talking about people that employ 50 or 100 or 150 people. It's not just like two guys. And what, what that means is that this inability of businesses to obtain what heretofore has been normal financing uh, has, is, is crushing people's ability to hire uh, and, and move forward. So we encourage our clients to be aware that this is another sign of the structural difficulties facing the economy. Banks are making money, keeping money in the bank, and then uh, buying securities with it. Banks don't, and that's a riskless business for the banks. So there's zero incentive if you're a bank president to actually lend money to an actual company. So this is Arnie Waters. We're going to cover some more territory tomorrow, and then we'll get back into the depths of PIMCO, PIMCO's Bill Gross's comments. Uh, aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Sorry to seem so grim and doer, uh, but the economic outlook is grim and doer, and it's going to get grimmer. Bunga bunga.